We want to give all praises on and glory due to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Kakodash. <clears throat> Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for teaching us his knowledge, peace, blessings, salutations to all the hopeful elect Akim out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. And I titled this video, Ask for More Balance. Ask for more balance. And to ask, you got to know the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son to ask in. Which the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, And His only begotten Son name is Yahweh Shai. And the correct names to say, the correct, the correct way to say it is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father. Bahashem means in the name of Yahweh Shah, which Yahweh Shah is the only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, who came down here and died for our sins, man. You know, and I titled this video, like I said, um, "Ask for more, more balance," because as you grow in this truth, man, as you enter into the truth, and you start learning out all these mysteries, and you start learning the truth, you know, and learning the do's and don'ts of this truth, you can over abuse things. In the truth that you're allowed to do. You know, that's why we got to... That's why this is a thing of um, patience. This is a thing of um, endurance. This is a thing of um, growth. You know, this is this this is just not a hangout. Um, this thing is um, deadly serious. And this is what the Lord requires of us, man. You know, and I'm going to start off in... Um, I'm going to start off in that um, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. It says, As a newborn babe desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow there, thereby. You know, and we got to desire the sincere milk of the word of these scriptures so we can grow in this thing, man. Huh? You know, especially um coming into this thing, you know, um, changing your whole life for what you knew it to be that you've been living your whole life until you heard about the truth so now you want the truth now you gotta change your ways and adapt to everything that's reality you know which is it's, it's tough for a lot of people to do that man but it's a beautiful thing if you how about shimao sha woke you up to come into this thing to fight for for righteousness man to fight for what's right you know to have a chance at salvation you know, because this place is about to be destroyed. And we, we trying to be delivered, you know, from this wicked, demonic, sinful kingdom called America. We trying to be um, delivered by coming back to our power. Our power is, uh, our power is, is making a calling right now to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Lord requires us to come back to him and do as commanded. You know, but when you come into the truth, you be, you be fiery. You know, you, you, you have that novice spirit, so you might, you know, do things that um, you can do it, but you over abuse it. You know, that's why we that's why this truth is about growing. We got to grow in this thing. We just can't stay on the same level or, or doing the same things. That's why we got to constantly examine ourselves in this truth. Uh, verse three, it says, um. First Peter chapter two verse three it says, "If so, be ye have um, tasted the the Lord's is grace grace graces." It says, "To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallow indeed of men, but chose chosen of God and precious." It's, it's a beautiful thing that the Most High allowed us to come into this truth. But when you come into this truth and, and, and learn this 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 um wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it be sweet at first, but then it becomes bitter because we in the thing of, of patience. We gotta wait, you know. We 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 catch hell, you know. A um and and you can over abuse different things in this truth, you know, such as drinking, um having sex, 
you know, too much sex, you know, different things that 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 really can put um, spirits on you to have you going off, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and it happens to the best of us. And, you know, I'm able to speak on this because that has happened to me, you know. That's why we got to constantly examine ourselves and, and and then at that check ourselves, you know, in the names of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and ask the Lord for mercy and repent in the names of Yahweh Bashim al Shai and get back on track, man. You know, and, and, and if you're sincere, the Lord is going to get us on track and put us on that right path where we need to go, man. You know, I'm going to drop my phone. It, so I'm gonna get this on um, Ezekiel. This is on um, Ezekiel, um, chapter three, verse three. It says, "And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thine belly to eat, and fill thine bowels with this roll, which is this truth, man. You know, when you come into this this truth, you get the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and it be good, man. We Israelites." Hey, we the chosen people of the Lord. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. We got next. You know, the Lord is coming back for us, man. All the, the hell and um, oppression and things that we're going through here, it's not going to be like this forever, man. You know? And we got um a, a beautiful, um we got beautiful times coming for Israel, man. And it's going to be forever. We got a forever kingdom coming, man. That's why it's high time to awake out of sleep and return back to our power, which is making the calling right now. That's why you see the, the, the prophets, you know, on the highways and byways um, warning Israel to come back before the destruction come. Man. It says, um, and fill thine bowels with this roll that I give thee. It says, then did I eat and it was in my mouth as honey. And for sweetness, right? Because, when, like I said, when you come into this truth, you find out all the glorious things and the Lord is coming back and who he coming back for and that you are special people and that the Lord is for us, you know, that we can drink, you know, we're going to have multiple women, you know, it just, it'd be amazing, bro, you know, and things ain't going to be like this forever. But then the bitterness start to, um, the bitterness start to um, seek in because this is a thing of patience. You know, like when I first came into the truth, I thought shit was about to pop off right then and there. I thought all hell was about to break loose, man. You know? And Shalom, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, Bashim Rakakurash, Barakatham. To all you um, sincere brothers and sincere sisters out there, Shalom. This is on um, Revelation chapter 10, verse, verse 9. It says, and I went, and I went unto the angel and said unto him, give me the little book. And, and he said unto him, take it and eat it up and, and it shall make thine belly bitter. Right. When you, um, you start to get the bitterness of this truth, man. You know, the bitterness, you know, catching hell, you know, the hell that we catch. But it's but it's all for um, purification, to purge us, to purge us from those different um, demons and different things that that we did in the world. And we don't know what we did in our um, past lives. So this thing is just a, a beautiful thing to be a part of, bro. And um, a endure. And we got to endure. The scriptures say, he that shall endure from to the end, the same shall be saved. But, you know, while, our, while we enduring, we got to ask for the, for um, more balance, man. Even though this thing get bitter, you know, it's sweet at first, but then it get bitter because we in a, 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 a test for time. You know, the Lord is testing our, our patience to see is we going to um, believe in him until the end. Is we going to endure? It says, um... You know, because this thing get bitter sometimes, but it's a balance. You know, that's why we got to ask Yahweh Bashim al Shai for more balance. We got the true names of our powers, man. We got the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our power, 
and we're actually doing what the Lord command us to do to the best of our abilities. Use that, man. Use the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Use it, man. We have it. And believe what you ask in the Lord, man. And He's going to receive, He's going to give you, man. You know, He's going to give you what you ask for as long as you ask and in doing in truth and sincerity, as long as you believe in Him. We trust in Him. We, we, we prove it. Our works speak for themselves, man. We trust in our power, man. That's why we got to keep pushing and keep believing, man. You know? And, and, and constantly examining ourselves and asking the Lord for more balance and he'll give it to us, man. He'll get rid of um whatever that that's that that may be hindering us, you know, that, that may be making us go off or whatever, man. You know? Hey, the Lord uh, 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 make things right, man. As long as you trust in him and do what he say, he going to make it right for us, brothers, man. You know, you sincere believers. It says, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. Right, you know, because we got the mysteries, man. The Lord will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And the Lord has revealed these secrets unto us, which is a beautiful thing. That's why it's, it's, it's all more to fight. All more to fight, all more to endure, and to, to go through whatever we got to go through, man. And it's truth in our lots. And believe in your how about Shema Shah and trust in the program, man. But we got to show our faith, man. We got to show our faith because different things, you know, if you're not praying to the Lord and asking the Lord for more um, balance, and it, it can hinder you in the truth. It can, it can actually um, get any one of us. Um, kicked out of the truth if we ain't doing the things necessary man because the scriptures say a false balance is an abomination if you don't got no um balance man you know you can make the wrong move and it, it can be our last you know so we just got to tread lightly in this thing and take it um very seriously man this is um proverbs chapter 11 verse 1 it says a false balance is an abomination on to the Lord. Abomination means a wicked, filthy act. The Lord hate a false balance, yo. You know, so if, if, if brothers is, um, you true and sincere brothers out there, you young brothers coming into faith, man, you know, it, you, you got a false balance. You you like to go to the club every, every day. You know, you just, you know, you like to get drunk all the time. You like to have um, excessive sex all the time. Hey man, hey, go to the Lord, man. Ask your how about Shem Al Shah for more balance. We got the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. We believe, man. And and whatever we ask in the names of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah with faith, He gonna give on to us, which is a beautiful thing, man. That's why this this truth is so amazing, man. To to be able to come back to our power and 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 ask. You know, a hey, hey, Lord Yahweh is going on to his father. A hey, a hey, to 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 uh, he's praying for us in the heavens, man, right there beside the father. We gotta use this, man. It ain't just it ain't we don't just do these videos for no reason, man. We don't go out there on the highways and byways for no reason. It, every this this is is very serious, man. We got the true names of our power. Use them, man, and truth and sincerity. It says. Proverbs eleven verse one: A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, unto the Lord. How about Shema Shah? But a just weight is his delight. That's right. And and pray that. Hey, I pray that you give me a, a just a just weight. How about Shema Shah? And the Lord will give us that, man. The Lord will give us that. Why? Because we serving our power. We serving our power, man. That's that's very important. That's that's hella amazing, man. We back serving our power, man. When we were serving our power, nobody could be against us. Nobody could do nothing to us, man. We back. We got the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son back. Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. We got power, man. And people hate that shit, but hey, the the Most High allowed us to have this. So we got to use it, brothers. We can't neglect this, man. You know, a lot of people don't have this. We got to trust in Yahweh by Hashem Al Shah. We got to trust in his program. We got to trust in his order. We got to trust in what the Most High got set up. We got to, man. And like I said, I always, you know, I, I done slipped up and messed up, man. 
and this truth. You know, but that's why we got repentance in Yahweh by Shem Shai and beg the Lord, bro, and fasting so the Most High can get us back on that right track so we'll be good, man. You know, this is um Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. It says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, with all thine heart. And lean not on to thine own understanding. Oh, 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 God might be like, oh, yeah, yeah, I can drink. Oh, yeah, I can have as many women as I want. You know, but that, that can be a detrimental to you, man. Scriptures say many men have run out their wits for women. You know, and that, that drink, get on that drink, you feeling good, you might make you might make a mistake, man. Have you going off and shit, doing shit that you know you don't fucking supposed to be doing, you know? That's why we got to ask for more balance. Ask Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, for more balance. And he'll give it to you, man. We got to trust in our power. Why? Because we serve him. We believe in him. And he going he gonna, to he gonna make do with it, what he say. As long as we do what he say, he going to come through for us, man. Because our power don't lie. Our power don't lie about nothing, man. That's why this is the most amazing thing ever in our life that happened ever in our life, man. To, to come back to our power, man. Hey, the, the, the beautiful works that our Lord, Lord Yahweh Shai did so that we'll be able to come back, man. This is what our Lord did and suffered and, 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 and laid his life down in a brutal fashion that he did so that we can come back and be able to pray to Yahweh Shem Shai, man. Be able to pray in the name of Yahweh by Shema Shah so Yahweh Shah, our Lord, can relate a message to Yahweh, man. We can't take this for granted. Hell nah, man. This is our life. This is our power. This is the truth. And we got we to gotta do what the scriptures say do, man. Proverbs 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shah, with all thine heart, and lean not on to thine own understanding. The scriptures say there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are, are the ways of death. If you keep leaning on to your own understanding and thinking that nothing can't fuck with you or thinking that you just, you just, you're going to be good, <laughs> hey, you sadly mistaken. That's why we got to constantly examine ourselves. It says, in all thine ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thine paths. That's right. A, a consult with the Lord about any and everything. When you go into the store you know, when you when you when you taking a walk outside, you know, whatever. Pray to the Lord to protect you, you know, a um whatever, man. Any and everything consult with the Lord. Fix your lips to consult with the Lord. Thank the Lord, man, for giving you food. You know, we got the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Hey, uh, the, the true names of our power back. Yeah, how about Shemal Shah, man? Use that. Use that, especially you true and sincere brothers that's that's serving the Lord, that's sacrificing, that's catching hell, that the most high putting you through. He wants you to call on him, man. He wants you to pray to him. He wants you to believe. So he can increase you, man. When you pray to him, when you believe, he increases you, bro. And we're going to need that increase, especially for what's about to come down the pipe, which is that RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, man. It's about to come down the pipe, man. And we're going to need our power to increase us, which he say he is, because he don't lie. He don't lie. For those who sincerely believing in him, trusting in him, doing what he say, man. Our power don't lie. He going to increase us and he going to deliver us, Lord willing, we part of the elect. And Lord willing, we continue doing the things which he command us to do to the best of our abilities and, 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 and serving him, man. Calling on those names. Trusting in our power. Trusting in what he got going on in our life. He said, and the scripture say he direct our paths, man. And that's things that I've been working on, not quenching the spirit. You know, if the Most High got this going this way, stop trying to fight against the Lord, man. Stop trying to fight against the course of the Lord. The Lord got things going this way. Follow the course of the Lord, man. Stop trying to drift off to the to the other way, man. See the Lord keep keep chastising you for, for, for going this way, which he clearly got you going that way, but you keep going this way. Fuck that. That's why we got to pray, brothers. 
She could just say pray without season, man. We got to constantly pray to our power, which he loved that. He loved for us to pray to him, man. That's why he gave us the names back. Proverbs 3 and 7, it says, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh Shema Shai, and he shall direct thine paths. The Lord said he ain't going to put us through nothing that we can't handle, man. So, whatever Yahweh Shema Shai put us through, he can handle this, man. He can handle whatever, we can handle whatever the Lord put us through, man. And brothers got to know that. Brothers got to believe in that, man. Brothers got to trust in that. You know, we got to trust in that, man. We ain't, in the, we ain't been called into this truth for no reason. It's either for salvation or damnation. And, and Lord willing, it's for salvation, man. You know, Lord willing, we please our power, man. But I'm going to um, cut it right there, man. Lord willing, I hope this video is edifying to the elect, you true and sincere believers out there, man. Ask for more balance in this truth as you be in it, as you grow. You know, so you won't keep making the same mistakes. So you won't, so you'll grow and learn from the mistakes, man. With that, I want to say all praises. Lord willing, I hope this is edifying. With that, I want to give all praises on the glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Giving double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, GMS, for teaching us his knowledge. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the hopeful like Akim out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his word in truth and sincerity to the best of your abilities. Hey, stay strong, brothers. Shalom.